as we sit here and meditate, we're the beneficiaries of a long line of people going way back to the Buddha. The Buddha himself found that it is possible through our efforts to put an end to suffering. And he said, as he said, having an admirable friend, having admirable friendship is the whole of the holy life. Without him we wouldn't have this practice. And of course without all the people who've carried on the practice over the generations, without them we wouldn't have it either. So it's good to have a sense of gratitude. And to think of what that gratitude means in the light of admirable friendship. In other words, you try to develop their qualities so you have something good to pass on. After all, they worked all that hard, in the Buddhist case, to find the practice and to follow it, and everybody else's to learn of it, to see that it was a good thing, and to follow it. And it shouldn't stop just with us. We should pass it on. That means emulating their good qualities. The Buddha lists four good qualities in an admirable friend. One is conviction. There it is conviction and the Buddha's awakening conviction that human effort can make a difference between our happiness and our sorrow, our pleasure and our pain. And if we're really skillful, we can take that principle of action and take it all the way to total freedom of suffering. And there's virtue. We realize that we have to behave in ways that are not harmful to anybody. Generosity, realizing if we have extra to share, we're happy to share it. And of course, if we can develop some sense of contentment in what we have, we'll have more to share. And then finally, discernment, seeing into what actually is causing suffering in our own minds. Because that's the main point of the Buddhist teachings, that when you're looking for the causes of suffering, don't look outside, look inside. The causes are here. And because the causes are here, you can put an end to them here, too. If the causes were someplace else under somebody else's power, you'd have to plead with that person or sneak past that person or try to exert control over that person, all of which would be pretty dangerous activities. Whereas if the cause of suffering lies inside, well, you have to sneak past your own defilements, gain some control over your own defilements. And that's a good project. So this is how we show our gratitude to the Buddha and all the people who have passed on the teachings, by developing these qualities of conviction, virtue, generosity, and discernment. It's not just the case that we have admirable friends. We engage in admirable friendship, taking on the qualities of that good person, so that we can become an admirable friend to other people as well.